Hello world, how you doing? Hope you guys are all doing great. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. So, quick video for you. I wanted to share with you what's going on in the backyard and uh, where we're at. Just a little quick update, kind of teaser. Since it's been raining, it's super muddy. So I figured why, might as well make a video. Now I have been shooting a video, uh, tearing this down and went through like how these are made, the results of what it did throughout the years and how it's handled. You can see this one's bowing cause there's no water in there to help support it. But I do got babies in here. That's the only reason why this thing's still up. Or I would already taken that one down. The other one's down there, but I'll have a video of outdoor tubbing coming soon. I just gotta get time to edit it. Anyways, on to the backyard. This is why I haven't had time to do any videos lately. I've just been hammering this out. I've got an excavator still. So every day that stays in my yard, I have to pay for it. But a hole on the other side of this house here, hold on. Let me get on this side where you guys have a better view of it. So here's the pond down here. We'll be doing some rock work, all that over there. We'll do some rock work over here. I think I'm gonna make the bottom pond bigger now, you know, cause ah, it's hard not to go bigger with it. I think I'm gonna go along there and kind of create like a moat style. We'll have a rock bridge. About got this wall done here, waiting on some dirt to come in. I was trying to bucket it from the other side of the house. That was just too much. My body can't handle it day by day, over and over. I'm not a uh, robot, unfortunately. Would be a lot cooler if I was. But getting the walls done, so there'll be walls over here, boom, walls over there. And as far as this looks, man, gorgeous. I do got Koi up top too. I can give you a little sneak peek of those. And I'll have videos of those coming out as well. I've got a uh, picture of every single one of them. I'll get some feeding because feeding is always fun. As you can see I've been staying pretty busy. Uh, this is the side of the house too. So I, as you can see, I still got a ton of rock I've got to go through and move. And got more rock in the front yard and even got rock on the road. So yeah, lots of rock to still go through. Boom. So yeah. But this will be what it looks like as you're coming in from the side of the house where your view will be. Now I do want to go another level up, a step up with this side, but that'll be a next year thing. As far as to put it on an epic scale, I'm not going to say what it is yet, but there's always future plans. And I will get back to making fish videos too. It's just as you guys know, when I get obsessed with things, I really, I really get into it. And I get into something, so it's kind of what I'm into right now. I still like the fish, don't get me wrong. The fish are still doing their thing. I'll have to find a home for those. This fish tanks have taken over the garage. But yeah, definitely a construction site over here. Oh, and this is one of my favorite things too, taking off the deck right here because it's not very tall. Oh, you can get down, kick the feet, turn them off the edge. Feel by, feel by a streaming waterfall. This is one of my favorite views though. Look at this dandelion. Sounds like a monster. It's drastic. It's a dandelion. Yeah, it looks good. You see any good looking dandelion? I'm not sure what kind of ivy this is, but we got some ivy growing into the pond as well. We got this ivy that's more dark green. kind of want it instead of that. That's more stringy, but I don't know. This is covered now. It doesn't seem to compact as much. Let's see. It does look neat. But you can see where I still got a lot to do on the edges here with this pond. I still got to finish off the wall, make it look capped. I think I'll probably just keep that like that. I'm gonna 
is where the koi are at. Sarah's got a little garden that's going. So that's that area down there. Got blueberry bushes, raspberry bushes, other bushes, lots of bushes. Things over. I think I'm gonna do radiant ground thermal heating for my fish tubs all over through there, which will be super awesome. It'll be trick. See if I can get away with it. Or we can see some koi out here. Has been raining, so the water's a bit cloudy. All this clay soil gets hammered into there. Clouds it up, but it gets it gets really clear. With that wetland filter down there. Oh, it's primo. Totally primo. But as you can see, still a bit to do here. Um, this all end up making a wide waterfall. I'll probably have to hand do all that. That's going to take me some time. You can see a lot of that clay get down through there, which I'll just smooth that out later whenever I get to all the work over here. I do have this side smoothed out, and man, I have some dreams and huge aspirations for this. As far as this yard in a hole, like this will probably get dug out back to where it would be cool, where it was like a oh, stepping rock, stepping rock, stepping rock, but it was all like water up underneath you. It was like it'd slope in, then it, it would go all the way down here, so the house would be pretty much surrounded by water by the time I get done with it. Then this is actually a really tall slope. Make a jumping rock into a koi pond you can jump into. I'm a big dreamer. I don't, I don't know. It would be pretty sweet though. Anyway. Quite a bit of the koi out. They're getting bigger. Can't wait to show you guys the video of what they actually look like. I love them all. It's, it's just so fun to come out here and feed them. And huge, huge thank you to all you guys for watching. And for anybody who orders from me at LRBAquatics.com and who have supported me here in the past, super chats on live streams, memberships, Patreons, all that stuff. Without you guys, this would not even be close to possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all. And planning on doing some epic stuff with the support you guys have helped me with to uh hopefully go and push this whole hobby a little farther and farther like we like to do here on this channel but once again thank you guys i appreciate you all right so there you have it there's a quickish video of what all is going on out here and some of the progress and why i haven't been real active on the channel but trust me there's a lot coming out as far as this goes and fish room stuff like after i get done with this i've already got huge epic things and materials and projects ready going on that just are just ready to get finished off here in the fish room and um yeah if you guys want to see what all is going to transpire from all that hit the subscribe button that would be awesome and hit the like button if you enjoyed this it helps the algorithms and me know that you this is the kind of content you want to see so until next time, everybody, peace, have a great one, and thanks for watching.